Good evening, YouTube, Booktube. This is Johnny, and I thought I'd make a video since it's been a couple of nights, a couple of days. The house is quiet. It is February the 25th, coming to the end of the month. It is 8.05 at night here. It's a Tuesday night. My wife left for work. She just works tonight and then she's off. She has about 29 shifts left before she's fully retired. Yeah, I was realizing today, I was writing in my diary that pretty soon my wife and I are going to be together 24, 24 hours a day. I'm so used for my wife being gone, working, or sleeping, that it's going to be kind of strange. Every day waking up and she's going to be there, and every night I go to bed, she's going to be there. Unless she goes and visits one of our kids, but or visits our grandchildren, so I don't know. So I don't know, but uh, that's part of getting old. I mean, I... Sometimes I don't realize how old I am. I think oh, I'm just, you know, just a young guy. But then I realized that this year, in August of 2020, I'll be 68 years old. <laughs> I mean, that's not old. I mean, uh, I come across people who are like in their 70s and 80s and 90s all the time around here in Holland. <clears throat> but I need to get right to this because I... What this is, is a used book haul. I've had, I have not shown any used books and I need to get them down the lower level, which you all know the lower level is the, we have an open basement and down there is where we store the majority of our books that we have collected over the years. And most of them are all mine. Now, my wife has our daughter's old bedroom that she uses to store her books. And there's books in our bedroom, a big bookcase. And there's books here in the dining room that belong to my wife. But the majority of the books down in the lower level, in the open basement, down there is, there are windows and doors. And we live on a hill. Our house is on a slant. And you can go out the back door, you know, in the backyard and just trees and flowers and birds and neighbors and so yeah there's bed as a bed down there a couch tables there's a bathroom shower washroom big storage room full of books just books 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 you've seen the videos of the lower level there are in my uh, YouTube channel so I'm going to get right to it. As far as my diary, today I ended on page 204 for the year 2020. I've written for the year 2020, 204 pages. Tomorrow is February the 26th. It's a Wednesday in the death flow as we uh, travel through the wasteland. So yeah, these are the thrift store books. First of all, I should just mention what I have been reading in the mornings. I mean, I haven't been, I've been reading a lot of things, but I'm just going to show you two books are the majority of my reading the last couple of days is this book here. I, you know, I started reading this last year and then I came across the author. His name is Richard B. Hayes. He's a very prominent New Testament scholar. I came across a video of hit, a video of lecture or panel discussion on this book, Reading Backwards, A Figurical Christology and the Fourfold Witness by Richard B. Hayes, put, published by Baylor University. And uh, I bought this last year, I think it came out Let's see, uh, no, it came out in 2014. Anyway, I got it back out and I've been reading this in the mornings. 
And I've been reading the new Volden book pretty steadily the last couple of days. The Lucky Star by William T. Volden. So I've been reading this. It's, it's about over 600 pages. And I've read 149 pages in this. So these are my primary reads. Now, I spent a lot of time writing in my diary, writing in my online diaries, interacting with my wife, going to the grocery store, visiting thrift stores, volunteering at the local library used bookstore, uh, sitting in silence, you know, reading the Bible, praying, watching the birds, you know, I do other things. But these are the things I've been reading, The Lucky Star and The, uh, the Reading Backwards by Richard B. Hayes. Those are the things and I've been reading. I, I read little bits and pieces of stuff, but those are the primary things. So I'm going to show you the used books I've gotten recently. I picked up this novel by Barbara Prime, or Pime, and Excellent Women. It's Pime, P-Y-M, Pime. Then I found a, a Louis Ackenkloss, The Embezzler. As you all know, I Louis Ackenkloss is one of my favorite American writers. He writes about New York City, the upper crust the wealthy and their lives. I have this in, in a, another edition, but this one, I like the cover of this one. And then I found a biography on William Clark. He was part of the Lewis and Clark expedition uh, under the presidency of Thomas Jefferson. You know, they, they went out, um, I can't remember, you know, Lewis and Clark, we all know them. It's called Lewis and Clark the Shaping of the West by Landon J. Jones. Yeah, between 1803 and 1806, Meriwether Lewis and William Clark co-captained the most famous expedition in American history. But, but while Lewis ended his life just three years after the expedition, Clark, as the highest ranking federal official in the West, spent three decades overseeing its consequences. Indian removal and the destruction of Native America. In a rare combination of storytelling and scholarship, best-selling Landon W. Landon Y. Jones vividly depicts Clark's life on the dark and bloody ground of America's early West, capturing the qualities of character and courage that made Clark an equal leader in the America's grander enterprise, the shaping of the West. So, and then I picked up this uh, by William Del, Del, Ryan, Del Maple from Holy Mountain, A Journey Among the Christians of the Middle East. I read this a long time ago, and I just found this used. And then I found this book, uh, Farewell and Splendor, The Passing of Queen Victoria and Her Age by Gerard M. Packard. I have several biographies on Queen Victoria. I'm interested in British history and it was only a dollar and I thought I'd put this with my Queen Victoria biographies. Now this guy, I have a whole bunch of his books. I'll show him, they're right behind me. This guy wrote this book City of Divas, the City of Dins by Waple, William Dell Maple. And he also wrote this one in Axandia by William Dell Maple. Then he wrote this little thing, The Nine Lies by William Dell Maple. Then he wrote the Age of Kala, Indian Travels and Encounters by William Del Epo. The Last Mongo, The Fall of the Dynasty of Del, uh, Delhi, 1857 by William 
Dalrymple. And then he wrote this book, The White Mongols, Love and Betrayal in 18th Century India by William Dell Apel. Oh, yeah, so. Yeah, I collect his books. So I was glad to find this one I didn't have. So I also found this biography on Robert Oppenheimer, A Life Inside the Center. He is the father of the atomic bomb. This is by Ray Monk, biography on him. This is a novel on love by Alan D. Button. It's a novel. He also wrote this, uh, Alan D. Button, The News, A User's Manual. I collect his writings. I have almost all of his, his works now. He wrote How Proust can change your life. He wrote that. And he wrote some, I've shown those. He wrote uh, The Art of Travel, The Architect of Happiness. Now I have all of them. I just found these recently. And I found the first edition of Tim O'Brien's The Things They Carry. There's an old photo of him. He's really old now. This came out in 1990, I think. Uh, very famous novel by Tim O'Brien. This came out in 1990. Found a perfect hardback, first edition. Then this is on ancient Greek history, The Greek Way by Edith Hamilton. This is a novel by an Australian writer. I've never heard of him. His name is Robert Hillman, The Bookshop of the Broken Hearted. And this is by a Swedish writer, uh, Lou's Journey by Pier Alvo, Alvo Inquis. This is translated out of Swedish by Tina Nunnally. It's historical fiction. It's about it takes, it's really like a historical fiction on the Pentecostal movement in Sweden, which is really kind of interests me. I have another novel of his down the lower level, The Royal Physician's Visit, but I can't find it. I looked for almost, the other night I looked hours trying to find it. This is other novel, The, the Physician's, The Royal Physician's Visit, but this is his novel, The Lewis, Lewis Journey. It's a historical fiction on the beginning of uh, the Pentecostal movement there, Christian Pentecostal movement in Sweden. And then I found this novel by Jonathan Cole. I have three other novels by him. He's a British writer. This is The House of Sleep. This is a Philip Roth, The Goodbye Columbus. I have this already, but I like this cover, so I got it. And then I have, this is by author W. Pink. He was a Christian, and uh, this is The Sovereignty of God, his doctrine on, doctrine on the Sovereignty of God by A.W. Pink. Walter Greenwood, Love on the Dole. I never heard of this, but I got it for a quarter. I've shown you, this is Sherman Axey. He's a American Indian kind of writer, poet. I found his war dances, which are like stories. This is a, a by an Irish writer I never heard of. D.P. Costello, Ra The Rag Tree, a novel of Ireland. Then this is Montague's, Montague's Persian Letters. The Haunting of the Hill House by Shirley Jackson. Wartime Lies by Lewis Bagley. I have three, four other novels by Lewis Bagley. This was his first novel, Wartime Lies. I think they were first published in... Oh, I don't know when this came out. 1991. This is a novel I've seen on Book Two, The Lesser Bohemians by Elmer McBride. And this is a novel by Susan Cheever, 
who is the daughter of John Cheever, the writer, Doctors in Women. This is by Nathaniel Folabrick, Sea of Glory, America's Voyage of Discovery, the U.S. Exploring Expedition of 1838 to 1842. I have three or four other nonfiction by him, Nathaniel Folabrick. Uh, he wrote In the Heart of the Sea, which is about the Malval, the ship that based on Moby Dick. This is picked up Margaret Atwell's The The Testaments. I ha I collect Margaret Atwell and I didn't have this one. This is Veronica by Mary Catskill. I collect her writings. I didn't have this one. She won the National Book Award. It was a finalist for this. This is a novel by no one. I never really heard of him. His name is Robert Cohen, The Here and the Now, a novel. The story looked really interesting, and so I picked it up for a dollar. Two dollars. Cost me two dollars. And then a biography on Edison by Matthew jo uh, Josephson. I, uh, Matthew jo Josephson, he writes, he's written biographies uh, on... Rousseau, he wrote a book, Nazi Culture, The Brown Darkness Over Germany, published in 1933. I have this, this one, The Robert Barons, The Great American Capitalist, 1861 to 1901. I have that one in our library. He wrote uh, Strendel, or The Pursuit of Happiness, 1946, which I have. Uh, yeah, so I always look for his books, and I found this one his biography on Edison. So so these are the used books I found recently. Now I can put these down the lower level, try to find room for them. That's always a problem. Trying to find, oh, I also found this novel, by, uh, Nor, by Oliver Pulvert, uh, translated out of, I think it was uh, French. And I also picked up The Many Aspects of Mobile Home Living by Martin Clark. I have this already in our library, so I'll put this in the van, the roving library. And this is a, my wife found this at Zeeland Library for 50 cents. Uh, this is Kane by Gene Tomer. He was part of the Harlem, Rona, the Harlem Renaissance back in the 20s. It's like a modernist. Uh, novel by this uh, black African writer who he kind of didn't like being labeled an African American so I don't know but I never heard of him and but this was a Norton edition Norton critical edition my wife knows I collect Norton critical editions so she bought this for me so yeah those are all the thrift store books I got recently at the Book Nook, Salvation Army, Goodwill, Action House, Bibles from Mexico. And yeah, nothing. I have books that have come in the mail. I will show those in the future videos. And I got a book coming in the mail tomorrow. A book is basically, it's a critical literary study of the writings of William T. Waldman. So that's it. I'll sign off, put these down on the lower level. I thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for your comments. Do hope you're having a good week. This is a Tuesday. We're coming to the end of the month, going into the month of March, springtime. Yeah, like I said, I've been reading pretty pretty non-stop, The Lucky Star by Voldman. Uh, you have, Voldman is acquired taste. <laughs> now, he's written a lot of non-fiction. This is fiction. And it's pretty gritty. It's pretty, pretty sexually graphic. But there's something about it. He is a good writer. Even though maybe the material, the 
the material of the novel is kind of it reminds me like of the royal family you know he writes about people on the tenderloin he talks about people who are down and out people who are just basically lost but i don't know it's a lot different from his other last couple of books which have been non-fiction and uh so anyway you can check it out but you know prepare yourself for something that's kind of there's a lot of a lot of sex in it <laughs> So anyway, I'll sign off. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for the comments and the questions. And until next time, bye.